Welcome to SGR Tactical. My name is Ben. Thank you for joining us today. Today we are going to discuss how to disassemble the top slide on the Glock 48. We're going to remove the firing spring, the extractor uh, plunger and spring, and the extractor itself and give it a really good cleaning. And then we're going to reassemble. As always, we're going to make sure this firearm is unloaded for safety purposes. Most accidents happen while cleaning a firearm. So we're going to pull back the slide, lock it back, Check in the barrel with my fancy little Q-tip here. Make sure there's no round in the chamber. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the back the slide lock. After I pull the slide back a quarter inch, pull down the, on both slide locks, release, squeeze the trigger, remove the slide. I'm gonna set the lower off to the side for now. I'm going to remove the recoil spring in the barrel, set those off to the side. What I'm essentially trying to do is remove the extractor, some of the safety features, the firing pin, and the plate. And that'll let me get inside here and clean all the little tiny dust and debris and possibly pocket lint off of the, the slide. So we're going to start by removing the slide cover plate. To do this, there is a sleeve in here. I'm going to try to get this so you guys can see it pretty good. There's a small black sleeve in here. It's right in here. That spacer sleeve is what the firing pin, which is here, sits inside of. So I have a tool here. And I'm going to take this tool and I'm going to gently pull down on this spacer sleeve. You see, it moves back and forth. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but let's see. So this small one it moves so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to reposition my thumb because the side plate slides off okay so the slide the plate started to slide off as you can see and i'm going to keep my thumb over here because there's a plunger spring in there and i'm just going to pull that plate right off and set it off to the side as you can see in here there's this extractor, extractor plunger spring. It's right here with the, with the plunger itself. Okay, I'm gonna set those off to the side. I'm gonna take this sleeve here and try to grab it out of there. So this is the firing pin, firing sp uh, pin sleeve, and this is the, the sleeve that I just pressed down on. So when, it, when this was in there, what I was doing is I was pressing the sleeve down to relieve tension off the back plate. I'm gonna set that off to the side. Now, this is the extractor, right? We just, we keep our thumb here and we just pull that thing right off. So our extractor, so I got some grime and stuff on my fingers. I'm gonna get that all nice and clean. Now, this is, um, comes out, goes right here. So essentially, we have an empty slide that I can get some scrubbing, I can put some brush down in there. So what I like to do is take my little fuzzy pipe cleaner here and get it going in there. And you'll see it comes all the way out over here. And I'm just, there's not much on it. Not a lot of dirt gets in there. Um, if you were in a th uh, environment with a lot of thin dust or sand that's like dust, like some of the combat vets experienced over in Iraq, uh, that this is would come in handy if you're rocking a Glock over there for some reason But you can see in here. It's all it's gonna be dirty. So I've been using uh, this break free CLP cleaner lubricant preservative for over 20 years um, I'm gonna go ahead and put some on my my cleaning brush here Doesn't take very much And I am going to start scrubbing this inside the slide grooves here with the small brush, since I got some oil on there. All the way down. And by taking all this stuff out, I mean, I can really get in here pretty good. I'm applying some pretty good pressure trying to scrub it. I'm gonna go ahead and put some more oil on my little brush here. I'm also gonna turn it this way and get in where this extractor was. And I'm gonna use the small end of my brush and get in there as well. That's why I have my fancy little Q-tips here because I can take this, get in here and wipe all this grime and residue off. 
See, it just comes right out. So I'm, I'm gonna get in here and I'm gonna wipe all that residue off. Got plenty of these Q-tips here, so I'm just gonna keep wiping until I, there's no more residue or black stuff coming off. Take my little pipe cleaner here. Wherever there's a small hole, I'm trying to get in and clean it, including where the firing pin goes, as you can see right here. So I'm just gonna get that in there, just like so. Scrub it out, it's a little dirty, so I'm gonna flip it over. So once I, once I scrub that, I'm kinda gonna put some more oil on my brush It's always important to wipe off the excess oil when you're done too because you want to make sure that um, you don't give anything for dust to stick to because oil you know ha does have a consistency that dirt will stick to it so once we're done scrubbing it all and getting it pretty clean then i'm going to take one of my i got these blue heavy duty shop towels I like using them because they don't leave a lot of lint on this inside and I take my finger and I, I'm able to get all in here. If the extractor was on there, I wouldn't be able to, um, I wouldn't push the extractor out to get below it. So this is just a one step up from a basic cleaning of this Glock and get all this extra oil off here. Now for the back part, where the firing pin and sleeve go in, um, I can use my Q-tips again to go in there and wipe all that extra stuff out of there. See how dirty it is? So again, this is just, you know, you put a couple thousand rounds through a Glock pistol it's okay to take it apart like this and really give it a thorough cleaning. That and at the same time you can inspect the, the edge of your extractor. So I got this nice and wiped down and cleaned inside there. I'm going to set it off to the side. Now I'm going to take this, this firing pen with the spring, put a little oil on my, my brush here. Um, I like this CLP because I don't have to use the Hoppies um, solvent to, to neutralize the gunpowder residue. Um, this is what the Marine Corps uses, and I believe the Army uses it, but I'm not quite sure. Um, take my extractor right here, small part. You know, I'm going to scrub it pretty good. Flip it over. Set it off to the side. Now this spring here, I'm going to be real careful with this. I don't want to bend it, so I'm just going to kind of protect it with my fingers. This small spring right here, I'm just going to protect it with my fingers and scrub around it. Okay, then I'm going to grab my shop towel again. I'm going to give these a nice wipe down until there's no grime coming off onto this towel. I like these parts inside here to be low oil, and you know clean it pretty good i don't want a lot of residue on there my extractor is a pretty important part of the pistol there's a lot of aftermarket parts you can get too um, if you had to replace your extractor this video gives you a good idea on how to replace it by removing the parts that we took out and my firing pin and its spring and it makes sure there's no cracks or anything. Make sure there's no cracks in the sleeve. So that's just the slide. To do the barrel, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little brush again and I'm gonna put some oil on it. And this is how I like to clean my barrels. I like to grab that thing and I like to scrub. I like to get that oil in there. I like to make sure if there's anything built up, it's not gonna be on there anymore. Flip the barrel over, give it a nice 
there's a point here on the barrel where when the slide goes back, it, once it wears in, you'll see a little ring there. So we just make sure that's good. Now we're going to switch. I'm going to put some oil on this brush here. And I'm going to go in the barrel. I'm going to remove my my uh, brush. This brush here and this um, rod comes with the Glock pistols in the case. Every Glock I've ever bought has come with these two, the brush and the rod. So I'm going to set this brush off to the side, set my barrel down for a sec, grab my shop towel, and I'm going to wipe off the outside of the barrel. Make sure I don't have too much uh, extra oil on there. Now I'm going to take this um, cleaning rod with this swab and I'm going to thread it right on here like so. And I'm going to push this through the barrel and I'm going to go back and forth. Okay. What I'm doing is I'm going to keep running patches through until they're spotless. They come out with no grime coming off. So it's pretty good. Nice clean barrel. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but it's nice and clean. No residue built up. Set those off to the side. Take my little brush and this recoil spring. Put some little bit of oil on my recoil spring. I'm gonna scrub it. Take my little shop towel, wipe off the excess. Again, we want to make sure we don't give anything for dirt and grime in the field or on the range to stick to. Good thing about a Glock is most of the time you could shoot it and just put it away and not clean it, which it's good to clean and maintenance your firearms. But with Glock, they're so trustworthy over time. It's, you know, cleaning it's not the biggest thing. So, all right, now we're going to reassemble. I'm going to set that barrel and recoil spring off to the side. So I'm going to take this extractor and I'm going to set it in here just like that. Just set it right in there. Here, I'll do it again for you. So, setting right in there. Now I'm gonna take this extractor retention. Now you'll pull the extractor out a little bit. Make sure I got this in the right way. Okay, so I push that back in there and I've got my thumb on the extractor because if it loses tension, this will actually pop out. So we don't want that to happen. Now I'm going to take my um, extractor plunger and plunger spring. There's a thick side to it and a thin side. On the thin side, the spring slips right over it like so. So this is what it should look like. I'm going to go ahead, keep the tension on this, drop this pl uh, plunger right down in there like so. And it'll just sit there flush like, it'll sit there flush until we get the, the rest of it in there. So now we're going to drop the firing pin and the sleeve in. We're going to push it down. Now this is all spring-loaded stuff here. So as you see, I can push down on this, this sleeve here, which we're going to have to do to get that uh, slide plate back on there. We're also going to have to push down on the extractor buffer spring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up my slide plate here and I'm going to get it started with the ridges out facing out and it's going to sit there and I'm going to take my thumb and I'm going to press it down or you know what I'm going to use this just to make it easy for the video. I'm going to push it down so it, it gets started. Now now the slide plate is started over neath, over that um, firing pin sleeve. Now I'm going to take this little tool here and I'm going to push down on the, the extractor until it's started over top of it. And then I'm just going to push. Boom. You heard it snap. And then to make sure you got it in there good, you're going to go ahead and press this down and move the firing pin back and forth a little bit. 
So if you push this here in, you can move the firing pin back and forth. And you can also inspect to make sure your firing pin is where it's supposed to be by looking in the, uh, on right here, you can see the firing pin sticking out. Once I get better camera equipment, it'll be easier to see. Now, what I'm gonna do is replace the barrel into the top slide. I'm gonna take the rubber part of the recoil spring to the front always, and I'm going to get it right on there. Now, I'm gonna take my bottom slide, and this is just a quick clean in how I do the bottom slide. I take my cleaning brush, I put a little oil on it. Something about having oil on that cleaning brush is real good. And I'm just gonna scrub. I scrub all the slide, the part, all these little parts inside. I go down in the mag well. Get all that gunpowder residue off of there. Get it nice and oiled up. Then I take my shop towel, I take my finger, and I get all that extra stuff off. Now, depending on how dirty your firearm is, it's gonna depend on how much you gotta scrub oil and wipe. Remember, you don't want too much oil left over. The way Glock does it on their website, and some people I've seen some do some videos, is pretty thorough. This is like a, a quick field cleaning with the lower. This is pretty thorough for the upper. I think it's as thorough as you can get. So we're gonna go ahead. I got all that off of there. My mag wells clean. So now I'm gonna reassemble this firearm. I'm gonna take this completed, nice, shiny, clean slide, and I'm going to So firing pin reacted the way it's supposed to. Slide is on, slide is clean. Now, I'm gonna oil it just a little bit. Take my CLP, couple, just one drop right there. Wipe off the extra. I just want enough so when it starts rocking back and forth, it's good to go. Glock 48, it's pretty good. I like it. Like I said earlier, that's a thorough cleaning. Thank you for watching our video today. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave it below. Feel free to reach out to us at SDR Tactical on Twitter, uh, Instagram, and Facebook. If you have any questions, we'll be glad to answer them. Have a great day. Thank you for watching.